Hey gang, Diana here today. Welcome to the studio. I am uh, essentially cleaning out those little dishes and I wanted to talk to you about them. I, be, I just purchased them uh, maybe a month or so ago from Amazon and they're porcelain uh, and they stack and they have a lid. So it's a set of five dishes that stack with a lid and in the uh, product the, 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 the whole order is for three sets of five so and it was like 20 bucks so I thought you know what that is what I'm going to use to mix my colors in so I, I was excited about them and I started using them the porcelain is a really nice surface because it doesn't bubble the way plastic does the paint doesn't bubble on it and they're super easy to clean and they shouldn't stain although uh, you never know but that's some yellow and probably lemon yellow and um, not sure which red that is but I'm just using up the paints to uh, you know by putting them painting into my my little mini journal I also used Dina Wakeley's bigger journal, the watercolor paper in there, uh, to to do some of this sort of just working ahead in my journal. It's just a, an idea if I have my paints out or if you have paints out, just grab your journal and slop some in there while you're at it. I think a, lo a lot of people do this it's not anything new but uh, just thought I'd do some little bit of color mixing here with you and a little bit of talking about palettes what I think I'm using or will be using is a, a palette that I can't think of the name of right now but we'll link below and I got that from Amazon as well it was a good price there I think it was a mission palette airtight a plastic palette and then I will use these dishes as supplements to the palette so that I because I always run out of mixing space on these little palettes um, this was a mix of sepia and ultramarine blue that gave me a wonderful gray um, I think you can use burnt umber for this mix too to get a good gray and I'm just picky getting it from the outside edges of the dish <laughs> but um, I love that gray it's so soft and almost brown you can do some mixing and adding more sepia or more blue to adjust the color of that a little bit and now I'm just adding blue on top when did you get a taste of what it looks like when you layer these colors together I love gray and I think it's such a useful thing to know and learn how to how to make the those gray colors and generally speaking if you mix the um, opposite colors complementary colors uh, you will get grays now here's the big Dina Wakely um, journal and I'm just getting used to this still. I'm just painting some oranges over that green. And you can see how how brown that is. This was from when I was swatching out the yellow, the yellows. And beautiful the way that changes the color. I just I like using color in this way. When you lay one on top of the other that's really that's really the magic about watercolor is the transparent the transparency I didn't have any space on my desk so I was holding the <laughs> holding the journal and um, just dunking it in to since I had that yellows out I thought I would just play around with the yellows on top of the uh, purples and you can see I'm getting lots of different uh, results depending on the type of yellow that's probably a Quinn yellow or maybe a gamboge that I'm using there more of an orangey or neutral yellow 
uh, orangey is in gamboge yellow or it could be red I don't know what I was doing uh, as usual and here's the ochre and this is a color I haven't used much lately although it's 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 an historic color and I used to use it a lot so I was swatching out the colors and I thought okay no that's nickel azo that's nickel azo I love this color nickel azo yellow and then some of that pyrrole red and that just gives me a nice orange a nice brilliant orange color which is uh, always handy if you like orange so that's it for today just a quick quick video uh, just little bits from when I am swatching out the, the little bits of playing I'm doing on the side I hope you enjoyed this video please please give me a thumbs up uh, like subscribe share all that good stuff it helps my channel and I appreciate it very much thanks for spending some of your day with me see you soon